So, hello. Today we're working on a 2011 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. And it's got the 6.6 Duramax. And it's here for the MIL being on. And it starts a little rough cold, so I suspect it's a glow plug problem. This is the LML engine designation, which I'm sure stands for a lot more labor. But uh, we'll throw the scan tool on this thing here. I've got the scanner interface hooked up. We're going to scan it and see what codes it's got. So I've scanned this before. I've got a record on it. We're going to do a network scan and see if there's any other concerns that we should be aware of. I see the TPMS light is on. I'm sure that's secondary. So this network scan will take a few seconds. Pick up when we get to the end. So we have nine codes in the ACM. Brake switch circuit, which is probably a faulty brake switch. I believe there's a normally open, normally closed set of contacts and when they start disagreeing it sets that code. Glow plug 3, glow plug 5, glow plug 6. I bet you those are on different sides of the engine too. So three glow plugs. Cylinder 2 injection timing advance. Cylinder 5 injection timing advance. I wonder if those are related to... Now cylinder 2 is not one of the ones with the glow plug, but cylinder 5 is. Charge air cooler low efficiency. Hmm. Engine coolant temperature below regulated thermostat system zero zero. So that's probably running too cold because of a thermostat opening prematurely. It has been very cold here in the last week. Control module ignition off timer performance. And then the ABS, we've got a pump motor malfunction. Pump motor malfunction actuator stuck and low voltage. Low plug codes are the same as the engine codes. Tire pressure sensors. Trailer brake relay control, high control circuit, short the battery. Oh boy. Well, let's have a look at some uh, freeze frame data on a couple of these codes here. I'm curious about this uh, E0128. I'm going to get the freeze frame loaded here. So we're going to go into freeze frame, failure, freeze, freeze frame and failure records and have a look at this one here and see what the temperature was and how long it had been running. Passed 48 times, failed 15 times. Coolant temperature is 156 degrees Fahrenheit. Should have run time on here. Run time. Well, that's since DPF regen. Startup temperature 66 Fahrenheit. Engine off time 9 minutes, 9 hours. Start up fuel temperature, engine run time, 13 minutes. Well, that's really not conclusive. There's a warm restart after nine hours of sitting and ran for 13 minutes the last time and it only reached 156 degrees. Well, we're gonna concentrate on these glow plug codes and we're gonna have a look at the uh, Brake switch code. Where is that? Coolant glow plug, glow plug, glow plug. Hey, where is the brake switch code? Huh, that didn't set any freeze frame data. That's odd. It usually it does. Yeah, it didn't set a freeze frame data for the brake switch code. All right. So 
we have glow plug codes for cylinder 3, 5, and 6. 3, 5 is on the passenger side and 6 is on the driver's side. Oh boy. I think I can get at these two on the passenger side through the wheel well. We'll have a look. So we're looking into this P0571 code. According to this, sets when the transmission control module sets detects 10 vehicle acceleration events with the brake switch on or 10 deceleration events with the brake switch off. So we're going to go back into the, the diagnostic suite here and, and have a look at the status of the brake switch. I've changed quite a few brake switches for this. Uh, I've got to find it. I think it's in uh, cruise traction data maybe. Brake pedal signal released. Brake pedal circuit signal. Released. So I'm going to step on the brake and watch these. Initially, they were both saying released. I applied the brake, as you can see here. Let's pause this. Brake pedal signal went to apply, but this one went to applied, and now it's back at released, and it's stuck at applied. So we're going to change the brake switch on this thing as well. So the glow plug on the driver's side is the third one, number six, and that's the one you can see right in the middle of the screen there. So I'm going to attempt to re replace it or remove it without taking the inner fender skirt out. Just lift up on this flap here and go in with a universal extension. So there's a glow plug out of number six and there's the new one. 90046 I think is the NGK part number. Nine double zero four six. Eight millimeter headed nut. Take the wire off and uh, 12 millimeter hex on the actual glow plug itself. I was able to get it through the wheel opening right here, like this. That's the only one you can probably get at. Well, the other one's behind the steering shaft. The other side, hopefully, is not. No, I'm not going to jinx it. So three and five are actually pretty accessible. I've got them out. It's the two middle cylinders on the passenger side. Uh, you can actually reach up here pretty good and get at these ones with a long extension. We're going to test the original glow plugs that we took out and compare them to the new ones. So here is a new glow plug being tested with an ohmmeter. Just so you know what we've got. And it shows 0.46 ohms. This ohmmeter is zeroed, so that's pretty accurate, 0.46. And let's look at one of the ones I've taken out. That one's 35, 36 ohms. How about this other one here? That one's over 40 ohms. Let's change the range. 3.62 kilo ohms and the last one that one's over 4,000 yeah that one's open completely so we're gonna go ahead and put these glow plugs in just like to confirm them so we're gonna do a network code clear after changing all those glow plugs and we'll change the brake switch but I want to move it off the hoist so I can open the door a little easier. And we're going to change that uh, doing a network code scan. I got to change the heater blower motor too, making a separate video on that. What I'm going to tell the customer is that uh, we're going to 
clear all the codes of all the controllers and if anything comes back in the next few days we'll have to address that. Uh, it's been fairly cold here for the past 10-12 days, like minus 30 Celsius. And that could result in low battery voltage. And so we're going to go into the engine uh, data. You know what? It might not be in. It might be separate. Low plug control module. Codes menu. Display codes. Uh, no codes present. Let's look at data. Data display. Low plug data. Seventeen, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, twenty, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. So they're all good. Here's the resistance: 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6